Um, this bike could possibly turn into Asbro number 21 um, if I include it in the count. The only difference with this one for a 500 is it's had all the usual things done, ported the head, shortened an aluminium cylinder barrel and raised the compression ratio, but the uh, crank assembly hasn't been lightened which is usually, if you like, a trademark figure of them. But um, trademark feature of them I should say. Uh, some of the old bits there, the old iron barrel, Horrible standard piston, a couple of gaskets, and all the new stuff is in there. That cylinder barrel is two millimetres shorter than standard, and it's got a so called 9 to 1 American made piston in it, which gives almost a true 9 to 1 now with a shortened barrel. I haven't started this one up yet, it's literally just been had the last few little bits and pieces put back on, tank put back on, and the nuts and bolts tightened up. Exhaust is cold. I'm going to give it a try, and um, it could be the first start of this thing since it's been tweaked, or it might not start. Let's find out. This is going to be as new to me as it'll be to anyone else. Fuel on. Choke. Ignition. for a little while now, warm up, settle down and just keep an eye on the gasket joints and shut her over. Let her run for a while and then we'll go and have the first, first run on it. Just a short blast down some local lanes just to make sure all is well. It's, uh, we've still got the old Indian mic carb on it. There's a larger Mark II Amo in a box ready to go on it, but I just wanted to make sure that the bike started and ran okay first before messing around with carburation. So we'll start off with this one, see how it goes, and then we'll get the big fancy carburetor out of the box and have a play with that. Sounds quite happy with life. Not bad, I only had the cylinder barrel in the lathe yesterday, shortening it. So I've got the hours in, I've got a big workload at the moment, so I have to keep plugging away at these things. It's another one almost ready to go home, I would say, um, but I've got to enjoy the first 50 miles or so on it yet, just to make sure all is well, of course. No point sending it home if there's going to be any problems. There shouldn't be. But it's always best to check these things over and make absolutely sure before you return them to the owner. Do a proper job. I like that, it's nice and quiet. Doesn't seem to be any smoke. Thank you. 